okay, you've created a few courses, you're getting comfortable with the development process. Now you're ready to look for some ways to streamline that development process, cut some corners, reduce some repetitive tasks. And it doesn't matter what program you're working in, really. I mean, it could be Flash or Photoshop or, of course, or PowerPoint. You can always streamline personal production. So in this example, we're going to take a really quick look at creating our own templates, creating a, really, a, a simple template in PowerPoint, saving that PowerPoint template as a design theme so that we can quickly access that template uh, throughout the life cycle of our development project. So in this example right here, I have a simple design that I came up with. It's part of a just sort of a e little e-learning makeover on some projects we're working on. So I've got a little I, uh, icon up here for each of the chapter titles, and I've got a title text here and a custom license plate font. I've got the background with the license plate, kind of like a little road theme back here. So there's some common elements that appear on every slide, right? The background's gonna be consistent, the chapter icon, the title, this uh, subheading right here, then an image placement over here. These are common elements on every slide. I can reduce a lot of my development time by making a master slide out of each of these elements. So let's go ahead and look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump over to my slide master. So view, slide master, scroll up to the top, and I'm going to work off of this master slide, then I'm going to work off the title slide. First thing on the, on the slide master I want to work on is basically just bring in that background image. So right-click and choose Format Background, Picture, File, and Close. So now I've applied that, that background license plate and little city theme right here to all the slides, which because I'm going to use this on every slide, so there's no reason to insert it each time. You can reduce file size by doing it this way. Also going to go ahead and change this font to a, uh, a custom font. So I'm going to use the license plate font. I want to bring it to 48. Align it, not, not a bullet, but align it to the left. And I don't need all that text in there. I'm just going to put heading one because I know what the heading one font is. Okay. And let's go ahead and just make one more change right here. So I'll make that red. I'll remove the bullet from it. Also change that to license plate, and maybe 28 couple changes right there. Jump down to the title slide, and you can see that the, the text has already been applied here. I'm also going to change that to heading one. And bring that up a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and insert an image so I can align the image with the heading font. So I'm going to go insert, picture, I'm going to bring in any of these steps. Okay. But I'm not going to leave this image here. And the reason I'm not going to leave the image there is I won't be able to access it. I won't be able to swap it out for each of the different slides. I'm just going to use this image here for placement purposes. With that selected, I'm just going to click back on the slide, choose Insert Placeholder, and then Picture. I'm going to draw a picture placeholder around it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut that real quick temporarily to the clipboard. Select this, delete it paste it back on there. Now I'll be able to quickly switch out a picture each time. And let's go ahead and just insert one more element, and I'll do that for the car. So just draw a picture box right there. That's where the car will go. So that's pretty much it. I've got a couple elements in there. Maybe I'll add a text element again right here. And again, I can come back here and, and continue to customize all that, make that a little bit smaller. 24. There's my intro text. So I've made a few common elements here. I've got the heading. I've got the subheading down here. Maybe I'll just change that subheading. And then I have room for body text or bullets, but that's all going to be customized on the actual slide. I've got a picture element right there. Let's go ahead and go back to slide at master, click close, and create a new slide. So if I go ahead and apply this, because I worked off of the title slide on this one, I didn't customize all of these yet. I just customized the title slide. You can see it looks kind of like a mess, right? But I have elements now to quickly replace each of these with images. At this point, I'm ready to save this theme. I can come up here to the Design tab, choose the drop-down arrow, and choose Save Current Theme, and I will call it uh, Custom Theme example. You can always change that. Click Save, and now I have my own theme right up here. So I could change it over here to something else, or I can always access it from my custom menu right here in the PowerPoint ribbon.